morning everyone welcome back to my channel today we are doing a morning routine for days where i am feeling healthy and productive now i will tell you there exists a dichotomy in my daily routines if you will some days i am very productive very healthy it's it's really good i get a lot done and other days i am lazy not as healthy and motivation is fleeting so we're gonna do this shane dawson style and make it into a bit of a series and this video is gonna be my productive realistic morning routine and then a video next week is gonna be my lazy summer morning routine where we have more of a mental health emphasis so i hope you enjoy it if you are new subscribe to my channel but Right now I'm waiting for my coffee to cool. I cool it in the freezer for like a half an hour before I make it just cause I like really cold coffee. I can't do hot coffee. Today I'm actually going to be trying to make a knockoff ice skinny caramel macchiato from Starbucks. So we're gonna try that and that's gonna be super fun. But right now while my coffee finishes cooling, I'm gonna go upstairs and do my skincare. So let's go. So in order to make the knockoff Starbucks caramel macchiato, here's what you're going to need. You're gonna need some form of vanilla syrup. I use this one, you can get it at Target. It is by the brand Torani, and this is the sugar-free vanilla. You can use regular, but Starbucks uses vanilla in their caramel macchiatos. Next, you're gonna need any form of milk that you wanna use. I'm gonna use this unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Then you're gonna need some caramel syrup pretty self-explanatory. And then some coffee. Now this isn't gonna be a true caramel macchiato because I don't have an espresso machine, but if all goes to plan, it'll still be good. I don't think it'll mess up the taste that much. So I'm gonna get a cup real quick. First, we're gonna add the milk. So I'm gonna add about this much. And then we're gonna add some of the sugar-free vanilla. much seems good. Now I'm gonna throw some ice in this cup. Now I'm just gonna take a spoon and I'm gonna stir it so that when you pour the coffee over top, there will be the line of separation that you get in a macchiato. I'm gonna put some caramel on the inside of the cup to make it all pretty. Here's what it looks like. It doesn't really look like a macchiato, which is fine, but I think it's because when I put the caramel in, I should have put the caramel around the cup first. I actually might redo this. Should I redo it? Please hold. I'm back and I have a macchiato. My type A personality would not let me rest until I made a perfect macchiato, so cheers. It tastes just like Starbucks. What can I say? I was correct. I didn't stir it well enough. And I added the caramel before this time and then a little after because I like a lot of caramel. I'm going to do what I do every morning that I'm having a productive type of morning. And I'm going to do my daily affirmation and my prompt for the day. So I'll show you how I do that. So on days where I'm feeling productive, I will do a self-affirmation and a journal entry. I saved a bunch of journaling prompts off of Pinterest and then I also saved a bunch of affirmations off of Pinterest. So I'll just pick whichever one I want to pick for the day and then I will write about it. And it's just a really good way to clear your mind so let's pick let's pick our prompt for the day shall we um sometimes i write more sometimes i don't write as much but i try to do it all the time okay hmm i like this one what do you know to be true today that you didn't know a year ago so that's gonna be my 
prompt for the day that I'm gonna write about and then let's pick a daily affirmation. I make my own goals and crush them. That's gonna be our affirmation. So throughout the day, we're just gonna think about how we're gonna make our own goals and then we're gonna crush them. So I'm gonna write this little entry right now, finish drinking my macchiato and then we'll move on to the next part of my morning routine. So it is around 8.36. I'm about to go work out. I am going to be doing a hill workout today. I like to switch up my workout so I'm not just doing like straight runs all the time. So today we're going to do a little warm up and then we're gonna run some hills, which is gonna be fun. I'm wearing these high-waisted flex leggings from Gymshark. I love these, these are some of my favorites. I'm highly anticipating their summer sales so that I can get more, because these are like, I have a couple of styles of Gymshark leggings and I think the high-waisted flex are my favorite. I'm just wearing a t-shirt, I gotta fill this up, and then we're gonna, we're gonna get going. I just finished my warm-up. I'm about to make it to the hill. We have eight hills to do. We're gonna push it on the way up, slow jog on the way down. No rest in between. I'm about four hills in. I just finished the eight hills. I'm dead. I was dead after like three, but then after six, I was really dead. So I'm gonna cool it down. I don't know how many more miles I'm gonna do, but feels good, I'm really sweaty. All right, everyone, I just finished my workout. It was a it was a crazy one. It was around five miles, which I wasn't intending on doing, but you know. It is incredibly humid out. Like, I am absolutely disgusting. I'm about to make a smoothie. But we're feeling good. Ready to hear the greatest investments that you can possibly make in your entire life? These towels, this hairbrush. I didn't get on the bandwagon with these wet brushes for so long, but <laughs> they are so good, you guys. I don't even know what I did before I had a wet brush. Let's see if I make it into my hamper. It's 1021 and we've already had a semi-productive morning. I feel very healthy and on top of things. Anybody that watches this far into the video, I need your opinions. How do we feel? How do we feel? This isn't this is an us decision about just chopping my hair off to like here. I'm having one of those urges to chop it off. I also think I I don't know. This probably isn't correct, but I just feel like I would feel more professional and law school like law school esque if I had my hair shorter. I don't know. I haven't had short hair since like freshman year of high school, so it would definitely be a change for me. All right, my hair is brushed. We are going to go make strawberry banana pancakes. I've never made these before, but I'm very excited to try. Obviously, you're gonna need pancake mix. This is the one that I always use. Um, I actually use like every flavor of these. I've talked about them in my vlogs so many times, but we're just gonna use the original buttermilk. I use these because they're like protein pancakes. I don't have fresh strawberries, but I have these frozen strawberry slices. I feel like they will do the trick. I'm not sure though. And then one banana. One thing I've learned with pancakes, and maybe this seems very obvious, keep the heat relatively low and let them cook slower or else they don't cook fully in the middle. So there's a tip for you if you were as illiterate in the art of pancake making like myself. Breakfast was really good. I will definitely make those 
strawberry banana pancakes again i'm actually about to get ready right now it's around what time is it i think around 11 15 so we've had a pretty chill morning this is gonna be my outfit for the day i'm doing yellow and then i'm doing the jean shorts that i showed in my i think it was my no it was two videos ago um from urban outfitters that i love so we're gonna do very simple makeup today because obviously not going anywhere but it just really helps and i've seen a lot of people say this so this isn't revolutionary getting up and getting ready changing out of your pajamas and putting on normal clothes really does help i'm not made of money so i don't i can't afford to be doing like my full face of makeup every single day because then it's just like wasting it because like who's gonna see it you know so i think it really is important to have a balance of days where you're like going to get it you know you're picking them up and setting them down you're getting a lot done and then it is also important to have days where you don't do that because trust me i've had many a days where i just did not want to get out of bed one of my favorite fitness youtubers natasha ocean i love her videos she always says that balance is learning to cope with moments of imbalance and i love that quote so much it's one of my favorite quotes honestly since i heard it i was just like yes that makes so much sense and you can really apply it to anything you want to in life it really is all about learning how to cope with imbalance and adapt I just finished doing my makeup like I said very simple today but I feel a lot better than I did before and with that it is 11 36 so it is almost not the morning anymore which means it's time for me to conclude the morning routine I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel I would love to have you as a subscriber I will see you in my next video goodbye